Hello and thanks for joining this overview of Dynamics NAV 2015 MRP and Production Planning. NAV 2015 can be configured to recommend purchase orders and or production orders based on demand. And demand can be anything from a, an existing production order to a sales order or even a production forecast. So for our purposes today, I'm going to be the production planner. That's the role that I've chosen for today. And I want to start off looking at a couple of inventory items here. Um, and I've just got these filtered out as a deluxe bicycles and components. And we're going to go ahead and just open our deluxe bicycle here, the, the card. One thing I want to point out here is that this particular item is replenished through a production order. And so that means this is something that I manufacture. And I can take a look at the structure, the bill of materials that's been assigned to this particular item by just navigating to the structure. You can see there's five purchased items that go into producing this finished good. In this view, you could also see sub-assemblies. So the replenishment system, you might see production order and purchase order in here as well. So let's go back to our list and let's talk about our components for just a minute here. First of all, you can see these four components that are uh, purchased from the same vendor. So those components have a lead time of five days. The chain, however, is purchased from a different vendor and it has a lead time of 16 days. So it takes a little bit longer for me to get this into my inventory. As well, I've associated the vendor's item number with this particular item. So when I generate a purchase document for this vendor, for this item, it's going to use their item number as opposed to my item number of 9302. Okay, so let's go look at where our demand is gonna come from. And for our purposes today, we're actually generating our production based on a forecast. So um, my production's coming from my production forecast and we're gonna choose the 2016 forecast. And I'm gonna change this view from day to month. And then we're gonna do a filter because I only wanna see that deluxe bicycle. So we're just gonna say, just show me 9002. And there we go. Now what I can see here is that in February of 2016, I've forecasted 15 units. So I wanna produce 15 of these deluxe bicycles. What NAV will do with that number is it will create the demand on the first day of the month. So because I've done a monthly forecast for February, it's going to say that on February 1st, I need to produce 15 of those. So let's go in and generate, back to our role center here, we're gonna generate our planning worksheet. And this is what's gonna tell us what we need to purchase and what we need to produce in order to meet all of our demand. And all I'm gonna do is just choose to calculate my plan. And um, it's giving me the option, MPS is production orders, so I can uncheck that or check it. MRP is components, things that I purchase. I can do either scenario, I'm doing both. I'm doing this for February using my 2016 forecast, which is the one that we just looked at. And I've added an additional filter here just so that it can um, just show us those uh, deluxe bicycle and components. So everything that starts with a nine, um, I wanna see all the item numbers that start with a nine. So I'm just gonna click okay. And it's gonna go through and, and make the recommendation for me. Now remember I said it was going to tell me I needed to produce 15 on February 1st. And here it is recommending that I produce a new production order on the 1st. Uh, as well, it's making, uh, making a recommendation that I purchased um, those components as well. So it, it wants to purchase, so which means it's gonna generate a purchase order for these components. If there's no warning, it's gonna check that box for me automatically and I could just push carry out action message and it's gonna create all of my POs. This particular item here requires some attention. This is the chain 
And if I drill in on that warning, it's telling me that the starting date of 114 is before the work date of 115. So remember that 16 day lead time. So I'm outside of that lead time now. And so it's telling me that I, I need to be aware of this before I, um, and maybe, you know, change the due date or uh, call the vendor um, or just ignore it. And I'm just going to ignore it, but it needs my attention. And I'm giving it attention by ignoring it. And so I've just manually now checked that accept action message. So I'm kind of overriding my warning there. And I'm going to choose to carry out the action message. And it's allowing me to create production orders and purchase orders. So I'm going to click OK. And my planning worksheet has now been cleaned out because it's created now the documents that I need it to create in order to finish my production. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our firm plan production orders. So I can see that I have two and one of them is the one that we just generated for the deluxe bicycle. Again, here's my due date of 2-1. As well, I'm going to go into purchase orders now. Um, and here's the first one that it created. This is the one it created for the chain. And let's go ahead and print this off. And you can see that it's going to use, um, instead of 9302 as the item number, it's using my vendor's item number as, as A-CHN-2. And I've also created a, a purchase order to legendary bike parts for all of the additional components that I need. So at this point, I can now um, send my purchase orders to my vendor, um, receive them in, release my production orders um, in order to meet my demand for those deluxe bicycles. Thank you for joining us today for this overview of NAV 2015 MRP and production planning.